We are here today with Rene. Rene runs Mobile Monday in Malta. He founded it recently. Malta, I've heard, is a very small country and it's above North America, or rather, not North America, actually, North Africa, <laughs> and under Italy. So I don't honestly know much about it. So I would love to learn more about Rene. Uh, Rene, tell me about yourself. How did you start working? What did you learn? What did you do graduation in and stuff like that? Well, I'm Rene Magri. I, uh, as, uh, as you said, I started Mobile Monday Malta. We are a year old and we're also preparing for the, our third event, which is going to happen on the 4th of October, so basically in four days. Um, I studied anthropology at university, but I basically dropped out and I went into doing, doing computing. I did computing with the University of London and I dropped out after the first year. So that's like a history of dropping out of courses. And then I did uh, an equivalent of uh, BS, BSc with the British Computing Society. And with that I didn't drop out because I did it in about eight months. So basically I'm still a graduate level in computing. But uh, basically what I'm doing now, just to give you a bit of an idea, I work mostly in marketing. And my interest in mobile starts from the, basically the interest that I know that mobile is the, what's happening now and is the part of them that will basically, um, you know, get um, everything on it. So you have to be on mobile. If you're not on mobile today, let alone in five years' time, you're not particularly relevant anymore. So my interest in mobile today comes from working with mobile affiliate marketing, mobile applications, consultancy on getting the best revenues from your mobile channel with different types of clients from iGaming companies to application developers in different parts of Europe. I work with application developers in Portugal, in the UK, in Brazil, and also iGaming companies because Malta is, happens to be one of the top clusters in the iGaming world. We have about 200 companies registered there, so it's very nice and very lucrative if you happen to be a service provider to be settled in Malta because you have all the, all the people you need to know like meters away from you. Um, just a small interlude into Mobile Monday as well and why I consider Mobile Monday to be an important network for a small island like Malta. I mean, our internal market is particularly small, so basically creating services just for um, local consumption would not really build a big business if you're not extremely hyper-local. So basically, the network itself, Mobile Monday, gives me the opportunity and my other co-founders to do events, to bring speakers, to widen the perspective of by getting speakers and companies and, and products from abroad and to get a discussion of what makes entrepreneurship something that people um, from different backgrounds, not just technology, should consider. And obviously because I believe mobile is the, is the sector, is the channel, um, is the part of them to be in, it applies to every sector and, uh, from health to social services even, so anything that basically makes a good business case. It needs to be on mobile and that's roughly the summary of what I do. But you, I overheard someone saying that you were teaching business entrepreneurship in some university? No, university, no. It, it was a program um, funded by the European Union and basically it was a week where about 30 people from across Europe came um, to this week of training, a workshop about what it means to be an entrepreneur and why you should be an entrepreneur. And basically they had different case studies to analyze, different types of entrepreneurs to look at, and they had also workshops that they developed their own business. They also wrote their business plan and they presented their business cases in a, in a conference broadcasted in the national Romanian uh, television. So basically the idea was very simple, how to try to entice uh, 30 youths from across Europe to take entrepreneurship seriously and eventually hopefully become entrepreneurs themselves. Europe, unfortunately, still considers entrepreneurship as something of a risk, so very few people actually take it and run with it. Whereas the States, if you're an entrepreneur and you fail, it's something that's okay with it. You know it's okay if you fail in the States, you can start again. You're a tested and a tried person. If you fail in Europe, it might mean that you're a case for failure, which is not obviously the truth. So Europe needs to change the association of failure as being something wrong, so it will free entrepreneurship as something much more um, popular, and obviously it will be taken up much, uh, much more, high, uh, much more in, by European youth, basically. Thank you so much, Rene, and uh, I look forward to one day seeing you in Malta. Yep, definitely. You're invited.
you're invited permanently. 